The goodest of evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, my camera refuses to focus. Oh, it just did. Anyway, today we got some stuff to do, so let's get right into it, starting with new stuff, new dolls, new objects and items. So for starters, I finally got my hands on Priscilla. I started wanting her randomly, but I feel like her eyebrows look kind of weird. Like... I don't know, I think this one is way more faded than this one and makes it look shorter. Um, other than that though, her face looks good. She just looks kind of messed up in that regard, so let me know if you guys see that as well. But now the focus of this video, the Halliday, Draculaura, and Claude 2 pack. Namely, two of them, because one is my mother's. My mom and I ordered them together because we usually just do, and she got hers for $10, whereas I paid the full price for mine. She had a coupon. She had a $50 gift certificate or something. So there's two sets here. We had actually ordered three just so we could keep... We were hoping one, just one of them would be wonky, but um... Is this the good one? Are you the good one? Or were you the good one? One of these was better than the other and I, for the life of me, can't remember which one it is, which is a problem. Okay, it's this one. This is the one that I thought looked really good. My camera will focus on it. This Draculaura was like very good and not wonky, in my opinion. Like maybe, maybe she looks worse in the video, I don't know. But in person, she's... Is she? Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this one looked pretty good too, though. Like, as it stands, I think... I think she's fine. The left eye, the right eye is a bit higher than the left, but honestly, man, all of them look like this. I looked up pictures of people's own personal holiday Draculauras and Claudes, and it seems like Draculaura is just always a little off, so you just kind of have to take the good with the bad, so that's one thing to be aware with. Claude is usually fine, though. Like, both of these guys look identical. There's nothing wrong with either one of them, so... You know, Claude is always fine, but Dracula is the one you gotta look out for. I'll be honest, I have not looked at any of the quads closely. I'm just assuming that they look fine, because they probably do. It's a boy doll. Who gives a shit? Just looked at them both closely, and I was right. They both look fine. They're both as fine as a boy doll can be. Just no wonk. They're totally good, you know? That usually seems to be the case. I only have, like, one wonky boy doll, and it's my Jackson. And it's because he's wearing glasses, but you can't see it behind the glasses, so it's fine. Who gives- who cares? <laughs> Your eyebrows still bother me. So I don't know if I'm going to unbox them, just because... I mean, I guess I could. I don't know where I'm gonna put them if I do. That's my main issue. I could put them up there, like where I put Cleo and Deuce, because I do have space up there, and I put dolls up there when I when I have space too. That was a good sentence. I feel like I have a good amount of space on this shelf, but I do need to rework it. For example, I kind of want Jackson and Holt to be on this shelf just because they are first editions and I feel like Deuce is- yeah, Deuce is my only first edition boy on this shelf. Um, I've got a lot of things to rework though. I've got a lot of shelves to redo. So, yeah. But, yeah, long story short, I would probably put them up here, most likely. Or somewhere on this shelf, I guess. The Dracula corner gains another member. But anyway, for now, we're just going to talk about what they look like in the box. Yeah, I made like four videos like this already. So I decided to bring my Forbidden Love dolls over here just for a comparison. I feel like I can see some references in Draculaura. For example, both dolls feature puffy sleeves as well as a bow around the neckline, so that's like one thing they have in common. They also both feature somewhat darker makeup, although this doll has much lighter makeup than the um, new one. Is your eye fucked up? Is your eye fucked up? No, you're fine, that's just the glitter. They also are both wearing leggings, they both have pretty simple heels for their shoes, although I really like Draculaura's. The back- yeah, they're both Dracula. I like the new- I like the Halliday dolls' shoes. They're pretty cute. I do feel like some paint detail could have brought- like, elevated them a lot, because it's the same thing with this doll. It's a very basic sculpt, but the detailing is what, like, the paint detailing is what brings the details and the sculpt out more. Whereas here, it's a detailed sculpt, but you can barely make out the details because there's no paint on it to accentuate them. If we go Claude for Claude, um... 
Is this even like showing up on camera? My camera looks so dark right now. But yeah, if we go Claude for Claude, the faces are pretty much one to one. It's a very good recreation. They both have the ear piercing in the same place. They both feature a shorter, somewhat curlyish hairstyle. I remember this doll having like, his hair looks kind of curled, but it's like very short, so it's hard to see it. Um, in terms of the outfit silhouette, it's definitely different. The new Claude has bell bottoms, which I really like. Honestly, Claude's whole outfit fucks, in my opinion. Like, it's good. I would wear this. I'd look like butch as hell in it, and it would be great. All in all, I don't feel like these two packs are very similar at all, but I do see some, like, similarities between Draculaura, but they're all, like, pretty surface level and, like, you know, overall, it's like a new silhouette. It's a new design. I think these two are my favorite holiday dolls so far. I like them a lot more than I expected to. Um, I probably will unbox them and I'll do a proper review tomorrow, but for now, this was fun. All in all, do I think these two are worth $60? No, I feel like $50 would have been more reasonable. Because then you'd be paying $25 each instead of $30. And I know that's only a $5 difference, but they didn't paint her umbrella. The whole thing is solid red and it looks boring. B -b -b boring, boring. But yeah, as it stands, these two are pretty cute. Even though they're not my favorite Monster High couple. I'm sorry, I just never saw the chemistry between them. I do like this pack. Did I cut myself off? I don't know. Well, anyway, now that we're done screwing around, let's do something fun. I was thinking about unboxing Priscilla in this video, but I probably won't because again, I feel like her eyebrows look weird. So I'm gonna look for a better one tomorrow. So instead, let's unbox something I've been sitting on for a while, Kylie. So this doll was a gift to me from Zombie Corum because he said that Bratz had sent him two like boxes of her. Cause you know, um, there was like these Bratz X Kylie PR boxes that were going out and they accidentally sent him two of the exact same box. So he had like, shit <laughs> so he had like two of her so he um asked if i wanted one and i said yeah so he gave it to me um, um how do i open this how do i open this this is a weird box i'm currently just opting to rip this thing to shreds so let me just kind of hold the camera while i do that so um i accidentally made a huge like cut up here so i'm just gonna expand upon that i guess I don't know what I'm doing, man. Um, maybe if I just start cutting the box, this will be easier. I don't know. I cut her in half. I can't believe I did that. Ow! Fuck, she fought back. She cut me back. <laughs> Ouchie. Uh, plastic. Um, I probably shouldn't be doing it like this. Alright, so here she is. Her hair is glued up the way MGA dolls typically are. Her body's a bit shiny, kind of everywhere. She's got the Hayden Williams hands, which... Uh, they're okay. They're hands, you know? <laughs> Do you guys remember that time when you would mention Hayden Williams in anything and he would just, like, spawn in the comments section? Do you guys remember when he did that? So she came with a Bratz Kylie note. I don't... Is this a love letter? Is this a million dollars? I hope it's a million dollars. That would be nice. I like money. Um, what the fuck is this thing? It's a certificate of authenticity. You know, I don't really get why dolls do this. Like, <laughs> of course it's authentic. I bought it from your website. I don't mean in this specific instance, since this doll was a gift, but like, <laughs> you get what I mean. Anyway, um, here's her poster. This artwork is cute, and I would have preferred that this had been on the box. Well, it was. Or no, this is a different pose. But, you know, like, I would have preferred that they just used the artwork instead of, like, actually putting a picture of Kylie on the box. Like, you're supposed to not know who this is meant to be. Well, I guess they don't look that similar. You know, I was actually thinking about harvesting her outfit to put on Roxy. And I did say I wanted to give Roxy a new outfit this year, so... <laughs> what do you guys think of Roxy in this dress? I think it would look pretty on her. Just let me know. Let me know if you guys are into that idea. All in all, I'd say she's a pretty good doll. Like a, she's well made. But me personally, I would not have paid full price for her just because I don't care about Kylie Jenner. <laughs> like I'm not a big celebrity person unless it's My Chemical Romance, baby. 
But uh, yeah, like even then, I only know Gerard's. No, I know Gerard, Frank Yero, Mikey Way, Ray Toro. Yeah, I, okay, I know all the members of My Chemical Romance, but like everybody does. That's like common knowledge. They're like the Beatles, but for emos. Anyway, um, I like her, but I would not have paid money for her because I'm not a Kylie Jenner fan. But like, she's probably better than most Mattel Barbie celebrity dolls just because. For the price, you're getting a fully articulated doll with a pretty, like, decently nice outfit. I can see this thing chipping in a few years just because it is made of pleather. And pleather doesn't really last, especially the kind that they used on the original Bratz. So I don't think this will be much better. But regardless, she's a nice doll. I like her, but she needs her hair washed because, wow, that is a rock. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here because it's time to eat dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, I hope to see you in my next one.